Well, LMP DG36 shipped out this morning. Had to pull the plate off of it. Get the old first gen here. Fired up. Beautiful, beautiful. Every one dollar is 30 times entries towards winning this truck right now, plus $5,000 in cash. Check the description below for any additional bonus codes or offers that we might have at the moment towards winning this thing. Definitely worth the look. For those of you that have been paying attention, congratulations on your little perks. Anyways, let's hop in the truck and get on down the road. We're actually gonna go get some videos of the first in here for Sushi and Media. And I just thought I'd take you guys along, show you guys what's going on in the house, by the way. You can see what's left of it. Almost, uh, almost completely gone. You'd almost never know it was there come a couple weeks from now. I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. We're gonna go get some video. And we actually found a real cool old spot that we ended on last time. And I didn't actually get any video of that location, but it's actually not too terribly far from where I live. And we're always kind of looking for different areas to get photos and videos, because it's kind of it's kind of tough to do them over and over again in the same types of locations and try to keep it somewhat interesting. And so we found this location and we ended on it last time when we had to wrap up but we said that we were gonna go back there with the next truck, which is now, and get some more photos and video. So we're gonna head on over there, gonna kind of show you guys around. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool little spot. Ding Dong here behind me with a giant load of logs was trying to pass me on a double yellow going uphill on the hill back there. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm going 55 and a 55. He's got a log truck and he was gonna try to pass me going up the hill. Some people, I tell you. I'm gonna go over the top couple of things that I like and dislike about this truck. And of course, with this truck, I happen to have a lot more things that I like over dislikes. So the list of dislikes is going to be pretty stinking short. In fact, some of them are very petty dislikes. So what's the plan here, Bill? You tell me, Bill. Pictures, videos. We probably got a bunch of rain coming in like 15 minutes. Do you want to pull ahead and like film me like a little bit? Okay, okay. So anyways, in terms of dislikes, we'll just get them out of the way because there's not very many. The VE pump on these trucks, you know what? The truck starts amazing. Plenty of power for the trucks back in the day when people had really low expectations. But in terms of the ability to get, you know, power out of them, you can get, you know, another 200 horse out of the truck and still maintain fuel pressure with that pump it's just more limited than like a p-pump truck for example uh you know with the later model of trucks that had the 12 valve in them um that being one of them again that's only that's only really a preference if you're somebody who's wanting to do a bunch of power upgrades and modifications it might be something that you're not necessarily the biggest fan of in other aspects of the truck it, it's it's totally fine and doesn't give the truck any issues. In terms of another dislike, probably would be the fact that these trucks were produced and sold in such low quantities for first gens. It just makes it a real pain to find them. And when you do, the prices are becoming astronomical. That's not to this specific truck necessarily, like things that I dislike, but just the first gens in general. That would be one of my things that I dislike about them is the fact that it, they're harder to find than a lot of even old sports cars and stuff that were actually in popular demand and sold in much more quantities. These are just hard. They're just so, so much harder to find. Now let's get to the things that I love about these trucks here. A, styling and design. I know that back when they first came out, 
it wasn't cool and I bet if it was me back in that day and I saw a square Dodge for like 20 years straight I probably wouldn't have thought that much about this I mean like oh it's it's the same truck basically but it's got a diesel I would probably wouldn't have thought that much about it um, looking at them now you know hindsight the design aspect of these trucks they're so simple there's nothing really sophisticated about a big square truck you know what I'm saying but they are just so cool I love the designs of them the simplicity of the build of these trucks from factory there's not a lot to go wrong and now back in the day simplicity was pretty common among a lot of manufacturers just because there wasn't really that much more that people were really demanding from vehicles at the time there just wasn't really a lot of technology or other crazy advanced things you could even really offer but these trucks are like the definition of a simple vehicle they're so simple i mean the electronics super limited the things that can i mean just the things in general that can go wrong on this truck are very it's a very very short list they can have their downfalls just like any other vehicle but the overall things that are downsides very limited list here's that location i was telling you guys about the old railroad track there under this old bridge there for the train Let's see what he needs let me see he's gonna say what what now it's gonna roll right through there nice and slow yeah that's the plan yeah, yeah we can do that we can do that so we're gonna roll on through here. He's gonna get some video. So if you guys are seeing the new, all the new like TikToks, the new reels and stuff, some of them are simple. Some of them have a little more heavy editing. My cousin Ty here, he actually has been working for me since May or June of 2022. He's been taking over all that stuff. And uh, in the more recent, probably four or five months, he's been taking over most of our social media. So if you guys send me DMs and stuff and I don't always see them, I don't, I don't fully, like I have access to all my own accounts, but I don't fully manage my own accounts. A lot of times he's the one that's on there. So just keep that in mind when you're sending messages like, respond to me Malachi, it's, sometimes it's him. <laughs> he's getting that shot. So what we're actually gonna do right now, he's gonna be getting video of me. I'm in neutral, we're on a good hill here. I'm gonna be rolling backwards in reverse in neutral and revving the truck a couple times for one of his reels that he's gonna be making. That way I'm not actually like in gear revving the truck up. Get the truck rolling, just kind of wiggling the seat. gonna turn out really sick <laughs> he's tripping out over that <laughs> dude it, sa it sounded awesome it sounded really cool yeah okay cool so this is a little taste of what i do that's what we're doing right now but anyways like i said design concept of the truck we're getting back to things I like about it. They're so simple. And I'm not just talking about like styling. I'm talking about the, the overall machine itself is so simple. There's just not much to go wrong. There's some people that don't like simplicity and then there's people that love it. I'm one of those people, I really like it because it gives me peace of mind knowing there's not a whole lot that can go wrong on the truck when I hop in and drive it down the road. He's actually gonna try to climb up on top up on top of the tracks for this next shot so when you guys see all the tiktoks and the giveaways and you see the footage um you know there's some risk involved this was his idea i did not tell him to do that i literally told him i'm like be freaking careful up there for the record this is not my idea he's like dude the shot is gonna be so worth it so he climbed up there he is so freaking hot in this thing Back to my list of things I love about it. Simplicity is part of the design aspect. Not many things to go wrong, but ease of maintenance and work. These things are so freaking simple to swap injectors, to throw head studs in, to do any kind of like maintenance on the engine itself or on the truck itself for the most part is so simple and literally almost anybody can figure it out. I mean, if you can hold a wrench, you've got enough going for you to be able to figure it out. 
Um, you still have to know some stuff, but everything to learn is pretty simple. A little bit sketchy, but it's gonna be a risk you're willing to take, man. Sick shots, man. It's cool, cool of you up there. Yeah. It's still not raining either. Yeah, I know. Which is kind of surprising here, because it said like 90% on that. trucks most generations are pretty easy to work on but the first gens are for sure no exception in fact they're probably at the top of the list this first and second gen 12 valves are definitely at the top of the list in terms of ease of maintenance and use just super super user-friendly machines I mean there's just not a lot about them that you can't figure out and if you're somebody new to the diesel world Although it can be hard to find a really clean one, a really nice one, if you're looking for a diesel and you're not really sure how to get started, I would definitely suggest, my, my number one pick though for ease of use and versatility would probably be a second gen 12 valve with a five speed manual. If you're willing to get your foot in the door and you wanna learn some stuff, that would definitely be my highest recommendation for, there's probably the most amount of different things you can do with the trucks in terms of power without having to go anything too crazy with changes to the engine itself. Ease of use, ease of maintenance, cost of parts, you know, a little bit more comfortable to drive around in terms of if you, if you happen to need a back seat or an extended cab or something like that. I mean, they're just hard to beat. I mean, I love the first shows, don't get me wrong, but it'd probably be a little easier for you to find an extended cab, five speed, 12 valve than it would be one of these trucks for sure. And in terms of the list of features and things that I like about first gens, well, there's not too many crazy features you can really list about a first gen. Again, it comes down to simplicity and they're such simple trucks, there's really not a whole lot. It's not like a new truck where you can say, oh, I like the touch screen and the heated steering wheel, the heated cooled seats. I mean, there's not really a long list of things you can really brag on. You just have to love them and like the trucks themselves for what they are, because they are simple. There's not a lot to them. And sometimes that can be the most likable thing about something. And you know what? In this case, that's how first gens are. And I love it. And again, on that note, if you want to get entered to win this one, link in description, lmpgear.com. 30X entries are live only until Sunday. Wrapping up some photos here. Should be, should be just about done. I love the Ram emblem on the front of this thing, the little hood ornament. It's not, it's not very often you could find them with those hood ornaments still intact. It seems like they're always missing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.